We're at Cattle Baron Cigars here at the 2018 International Premium Cigar and Pipe Retailers Convention in Las Vegas. Very interesting story about Cattle Baron Cigars. Yesterday, as they were setting up, I'm walking by and somebody grabbed me and said, the guys at Cattle Baron Cigars need to see you. I had no idea why. Well, they're gonna share a very interesting story how they got into cigars. And I, the first thing you'll notice is the interesting uh, ranch cattle type of motif. I was looking for a real bull in here yesterday, but they are actual cattlemen. These guys are cattle ranchers that got into cigars. Let's go and meet them. So come on in here to the ranch at Cattle Baron Cigars. We've got Brian Massard. We've got Jamie Robbins. And Brian, yesterday when we met, uh, very interesting, you said, General, I gotta meet you. You're the reason that I'm in the cigar business. And I, first thing I said is, where's the bull? You're a real cattle rancher. Where the hell's the bull? And uh, so tell us about how you got into cigars because I had an involvement apparently. You had a huge involvement in Montana. We love cigars and uh, we listen to you on Sirius Radio when we're feeding our cattle in the winter. And I bought the pause, first pause and play just so when I had to get out and load my feed truck, I wouldn't miss a moment of it. And I learned so much about cigars and it just brought this enthusiasm and love for cigars to the next level. And then the, the getting here was a is a fascinating story, but you had such a huge influence. I mean, I talked to all my friends, talked to them about how you like the cigar, how you puff the cigar, how you enjoy the cigar, the whole thing that goes with cigar smoking. It's not a habit, it's an event, and it's, it's just been fantastic. And here we are 10 years later and, at a and booth selling them, talking to you. There you go. And I got to say that uh, we started talking about cattle because, you know, we talk about, we're not vegans on the Cigar Dave Show, as you know. Yeah. No vegans allowed, man. We love our meat. You know what I would say? You can't beat my meat. Yeah, that's right. And it can't beat these guys' meat because they gave me some beef jerky yesterday because I said to him, hey, man, where's the cattle? Where's the steak? He's like, General, wait a minute. Hold on a second. In fact, show me where you had your little stash. I'm going to take another one. It right was so here. good because he said, General, this is not like the beef jerky you've ever had. This is, we take filet mignon, and we make it into jerky. It was soft, it was delicious. I had it for dinner last night. It was that good, incredibly lean. And so now I'm hooked on this stuff. And what we're going to try to do is I'm gonna to try to convince Brian that we have to start selling this to our, uh, our alphas across the country. Cause I'm telling you, I've had jerky. This was off the charts. I've been robbed this morning. You've been robbed? <laughs> I All right, the good news is I know where he's in in Montana. Tell us about your, your cattle farm. So we ranch in Montana. I've ranched there my whole life. And we raise registered Angus cattle, so you've heard of prime certified Angus sure. beef. Like the Cuban seed of tobacco that everybody right. seeks, we have the, the high marbling Angus seed. So when you go look for certified Angus prime beef, we raise the bulls that make that. Can That's you, our life. Can you, I've got two German shepherds, they're herders. Can you send me a bull and they'll make sure he doesn't leave my Pleasure Palace property? They might chase him around. <laughs> they'll definitely chase the, uh, the bull around. There's, you want them to protect you. <laughs> oh, they will, trust me, they will protect the bull. As long as they know that that's gonna be dinner one day, they will definitely they protect it. him. All right, so tell us about, first of all, let's get a cigar. I gotta light one up here. I know you got one cut and ready, fantastic. Got... Need a lightation device? I didn't come prepared. I gotta go see uh, Mike Reynolds, uh, my good, my good buddy. Authentic. Ah, just. You know, we're so high, we're above 7,000 feet in Montana, where oh, our really? ranch is. And where is your ranch? Uh, it's in Dillon, Montana, southwest, Dillon. down by Yellowstone. By my Yellowstone, fantastic. Yeah. This is a very elegant way, I'm gonna let you hold that, to light your cigar. Angle it down. Just toast it very gently. And as I do, tell me about the Cattle Baron cigars. I know Phil Zangi, good buddy of mine, originally from Buffalo, fellow Buffalonian, yeah. makes the cigars, he makes great sticks. Tell me about it. Well, when we when we got together, I told Phil, I said, you know, I wanna, I don't just want my name on a band. I'm not interested in that. I wanna have our own cigar. I wanna have something that I, I took part in the blend. And so he had, before we'd even met, he had sent me a few cigars and if we went through 12, him just sending me cigars and then we went, I went down there, he said, look, we're gonna have a really good cigar. You need to come down here, go through the entire process, which I'd wanted to do my whole life. And we went down there, I spent a week with them. We went through all the houses, we went through, we blended together. And on our 13th attempt, this is what we came up with. Lucky 13. Lucky 13, absolutely. All right, now Jamie, tell me, uh, you're involved with selling these cigars. What's yep. the response you've had about, uh, you know, about the uh, Cattle Baron cigars? Very good response. Uh, smaller company, Brian started off, he's picked what he's wanted, very good quality, um, taking the time to do it right. Um, he also dabbles in, you know, like we said, the ranching, and that's where I've kind of worked mostly is through the ranching um, industry with the feedlot and the new ranch that he has and the vodka that he's selling. And 
So I've kind of dabbled in all of it, and I've, I've loved every bit of it. Well, Brian, do you know for the last 25 years, I've told my mother and sister, I've said, I'm going to Montana for a couple of weeks in the summer, and I've yet to do it. Well, now I know there's a cigar-friendly ranch in Montana that I'm going to hang out. We could do a show there. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any of the ranching or any of the, you know, cutting the uh, Rocky Mountain oysters, I can tell you that. However, I will be happy to smoke cigars and test the meat, taste the meat. That will be my, my job, and I will come out and see it for sure. We'll smoke some cigars. Now, you've also got a libation, you said, we do. that you're working on or you have that goes with your Cattle Baron cigars. Well, you're responsible for that, too, because you talk so much about, I mean, I learned so much about how important it is to pair things. And we bought a case of wine after, an Italian wine after one of your shows, and we couldn't ship it into Montana. I had to ship it to my vet who was in Idaho. He had to bring it up to me in Montana. Was, it, so was the recommendation the good? The recommendation was fantastic. Beautiful. It was out of this world. So by doing that, how we got in the vodka business, is we've got places all over Montana. Sometimes it's a two hour trip just to go check your cow. So I'll go to the gas station, I'll get a thing of unsweetened iced tea, a little bit of cranberry juice, mix it together, light my cigar, and I got a nice hour and a half smoke on the way up there. So I made the world's only cranberry tea vodka. I like it. It's made with real tea oil and cranberry extract. It's not your typical sweetened vodka. It's the first and only uh, vodka ever made to pair with a cigar. And I didn't care if I sold a single bottle. I wanted to do that. And it is Well, fantastic. here's what I want you to do. I want you to send me a box of your Cattle Baron, a box of the gorgeous cranberry tea-enhanced vodka, and we'll do that for a litation and libation ceremony on an upcoming Cigar Dave show. That sounds awesome. But there's we'll a kicker. There's As Ron Popeil would say, but wait, there's more. <laughs> you got to send me some of your great tomahawk chops and your ribeyes. I'm going to put them on the grill. It'll be Cattle Baron Cigar Day on the Cigar Dave show. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. Brian Massar, Jamie uh, uh, Robbins. Robbins, got it, from uh, Cattle Baron Cigars in Montana. I guess I'm responsible. You're not going to hold that against me, by the way. No. It's thanks, all good. Thanks for bringing them right, to the world. By the way, if I go to Montana, do I get one of those cool hats? Yeah, you do. All right, fantastic. you got to cut your own steak. That's subject to negotiation. <laughs> okay? I, I, right. You know, when it comes to fishing and it comes to going, uh, you know, to get my meat, the butcher handles all the cutting, and uh, people say, do you go fishing, General? And the answer is, yeah, I go at the seafood counter, and they yeah. do all the work for me. I just yeah. put it on the grill or put it on the uh, in the oven. All good to go. All right, so a very interesting story, Cattle Baron Cigars, unique boutique cigar. Love these kind of stories that we're finding from the 2018 Cigar Retailers Convention in Vegas.